Now we have a query. We're going to add some calculated fields. So I just have one table here as an example, but this can work across multiple tables as well. I will drag in the calculated field. We have calculation one, we can enter a name. In order to make this work, what you do is you drag in the fields that you are going to be referencing in the calculation. So I'm going to take my company code, I'm going to take my account, and then we're going to do a concatenation. You can either click on the fields or type them in in brackets. And all I'm doing here is concatenating my company code and my account. If I hit apply here, run the query. It's running very slow today, but we get our company code account and all it does is concatenate segment one as well as the account value. We can do other calculated fields in here as well, like parsing out months from their our date field. I can go and bring my period field into my included columns. I can select my date and time to month of this. Apply. Bring in another field. me to have month and year as separate fields in here. And just in terms of the different functions, we have conversion to convert data types. We have different string functions. So you can concatenate, replace, um, reverse, length, substring, trim, convert to upper lower, split, conditions for if statements, case statements, some aggregation functions, we have mathematical operations that can happen, and then JSON. JSON isn't as important to have in this phase, so if we need to scope something out, this can be scoped out. And for any of our fields, we can select, you know, we can put in custom headers, data types, aggregations um, for data, like our amount field. Here we're doing a, a sum, but we could do counts, mins, maxes, averages as well.